Good morning to you. This morning I'm going to go and um, have a uh, try on the LinkedIn um, machine learning um, the assessment. So I go to go to my log into my LinkedIn and I go to my profile and I'm going to go for a skills assessment. Okay, there we go take skill quiz okay then from here I'm going to go to tools and technologies and when I scroll down wait I think it's industry knowledge yes there we go machine learning okay so I'm going to choose machine learning here it says that I've got uh, 15 multiple choice questions one and a half minutes I have to score in the top 30 to earn a badge so let's give this a try. The organization allows people to create online prof professional profiles. A key feature is the ability to create clusters of people who are professionally connected to one another. What type of machine learning method is used to create these clusters? So I would go with unsupervised machine learning. What is stacking? Um, stacking is to use several machine learning algorithms to boost your results. The predictions of one model become the inputs to another. That's stacking. You create a decision tree to show whether someone decides to go to the beach. There are three factors in this decision. Rainy, overcast and sunny. What are these three factors called? I'm going to choose predictors. The fit line and data in the figure exhibits which pattern? I'm going to go with high bias and low variance. The K nearest neighbor. The closer you are to neighbor, the more likely you are to I'm going to go with share common characteristics. Actually, I realized be part of the same cluster. Random Forest is a modified and improved version of which earlier technique? Random Forest. going with aggregated trees what does it mean to underfit your data model there is too much data in your training set that's the option I'm going with what is this diagram a good example of Multi-class classification, K nearest neighbor, a complex cluster, or unsupervised learning. I'm going to choose K nearest neighbor. Your company wants you to build an internal email text prediction model to speed up the time that employees spend writing emails. What should you do? Include, include training email data from all employees. You work for a website that enables customers to see all the images of themselves on the internet by uploading one self photograph. Your data model uses five characteristics to match people to their pro photograph. C color, eye color, gender, eye glasses and facial hair. Your customers have been complaining that they get tens of thousands of photographs without them. What is likely the challenge with your data model? Um, yeah, 
you are underfitting the model of to the data. Are data model bias and variance a challenge with unsupervised learning? Are data model bias and variance a challenge with unsupervised? No, data model and variance involve supervised. No, data model and variance. Mm. Yes, data model bias is a challenge when the machine creates clusters. You are part of a data science team that is working for a national fast food chain. You create a simple report that shows a trend. Customers who visit the store more often and buy smaller meals spend more than customers who visit less frequently and buy larger meals. What is the most likely diagram that your team created? Linear regression and scatter plots. Next, you are using k nearest neighbor and you have a k of 1. What are you likely to see when you train the model? I'm going to go with high variance and low bias. You want to identify global weather patterns that may have been affected by climate change. To do so, you want to use machine learning algorithms to find patterns that would otherwise be imperceptible to a human meteorologist. What is the best place to start? Use unsupervised learning to have the machine look for anomalies in a massive weather database. Your data science team wants you to use the K nearest neighbor classification algorithm. Someone on your team wants you to use a K of 25. What are the challenges of this approach? Higher K values lower the bias but increase the variance. View results. Oh, there we go. Great work. You earned a badge. You are in the top 30% of 148 K people who took this. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been informative. And thanks once again. Goodbye.